Hey, how you doing? Back to Kim and Trish's journey uh, through life. Um, just want to uh, ask Kim, you're a creative person, and, and so am I. And that explains why we were in a florist together. Uh, she's very creative in her talents. She has talents that are unbelievable. But Kim has two sides to her. And she has a side that I welcome, and that's a side that is um, a side that feels for the less fortunate, um, a side that understands people who are in need and, and um, very uh, heartwarming to watch her do her work because she doesn't respond. Since she's had self-development, she doesn't respond in negative ways. And sometimes I have to say to her, you need to take a stand um, in, in your life and it is what it is and you've got to accept it and move on from it if it's negative in your life. Um, Kim, can you explain um, sort of why people with issues or problems seem to be attracted to you in some way? I think I attract the people with the issues because in my past I've had issues and because I've had a lot of issues, whether it be um, financial or emotional or um, people leaving me or death or, you know, all of those kinds of tra tra travesties that you have. I think I attract people that way because I feel their pain. And um, if they have a problem, I'm a good listener and I'm a good interpreter and um, I just like to hear their problem and then um, I don't like to tell them what to do. I'm not to tell you what to do, but for some reason they flock to me. And that is the part um, that's different, that is the opposite for me and you. We're attracted in one way, but then uh, right. in another way, I am a tell people kind of what to do person. You I, I like to create answers for people. Um, and that bothers you sometimes. Yes, it does. It bothers, it bothers her in a way that um, is irritating to her, and she'll have to walk away from me for a minute. And um, just to let you know that we are normal people, and, and doing self-development does help, but you are going to experience those bad times regardless of who you are. But with Kim and I's relationship, that part of her is the part that I desire to have. And the part of me that is, uh, is the hard part to be a leader and to try to direct, she sometimes doesn't. I'm allergic to you. Doesn't like it, uh, and she runs from it. But then comes back to it later in some other. Well, place. that's because the things that you have to say are the truth, and people don't want to hear the truth all the time. And they are truthful, but you you tell them. You don't you don't lean it into them. You just tell them when like when you don't when you think that I should change something, you just tell me. Well, if it were me, this one is what I would do. And I never say, well, if it were me, this is what I would do to anybody. I, I, for some reason, have a way of letting people um, tell me what they should do, and, and that's how it comes out. Right. And that is what I need more of. I need to be more of yeah, you do. a person to, to be a better listener, um, and which is why I'm doing this interview right now so that all of you can understand there are different personalities out there that um, you have to blend with in life, and Kim and I would no more like not talk to each other for a disagreement or something that is um, so, so maybe a day or something. Petty. That's it. But, um, you know, extent. we're bonded. We're bonded in, in a special form that nobody could ever take that apart. And including her children and my children, we're all bonded together. We're all energies that we create. And um, we have a special bond. And I wanted to share the bond um, a little deeper with you and also to share Kim's bonding with um, Jake in the future uh, so that you can get a little bit more understanding of where I'm coming from because Kim leads a big part in my life. She is a big part. She's not the negative in my life. She's the positive in my life. And um, we'll, we'll continue on our journey and it will be um, very heartfelt. So until next time, be blessed. Thank you, Kim.